Yo, what's up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. This one's on moving the factory packs location, the right way to do it if you're doing it inside of your computer, or how to get Ableton re to recognize them if you're moving from one computer to another. So first things first, to do it correctly, let's say I've just partitioned my disk and I want to put all of my packs on the D drive, I would go to Preferences, I would go to library, and then from here, the installation folder for packs, I would browse, I would move it, let's say the desktop, I'd say OK, and then I would say move existing packs to new installation directory and hit yes. And that way Ableton will take the packs and move them for you, and then it will know where they are for the future. If you move them by yourself, you have to do it a different way. So let's say that I've, I've now set up my packs location on the D drive by myself without doing it through Ableton. I didn't have Ableton move the packs. I need to show Ableton where the packs are. So I browse to a new location and I find them on the D drive, like I said, blah, 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 Ableton, factory packs, okay. And I would hit no because I moved them by myself. I would close out of there and I'd come into the packs and I would see that they're there. Now, let's say that I just got some packs off my computer again and I've added them to the G drive. So let me go ahead inside of there and show you what I mean. So I have some packs here and I wanna put them inside of the Ableton folder inside of the packs. Boom, 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 boom. I've now put those inside of the factory packs folder. And if I go back into Ableton, even if I close out and reopen, they, they don't show up here inside of the library. So the question is, how do I get Ableton to rescan the PAX location? And then the way to do that was to go into the preferences and just move the installation directory to say the desktop, hit OK, say no, and then move it back to wherever the folder was. So in this would be the D drive, Ableton, factory PAX, boom. And I'm gonna hit no again. What that's going to do is force Ableton to rescan the folder, and as you can see, those three new packs have shown up inside of the packs directory. So that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it the right way, and a way to get Ableton to rescan the packs folder. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.